everyone. So for today's video, we are doing a bit of a haul. So we decided to go on a rune hunt, apparently. It was pretty unexpected. We didn't anticipate going on and buying a bunch of runes, but here we are. So we bought a lot of runes. And if you ever go out witchy shopping and you don't pick up incense, are you really a witch though? Because I feel like anytime you walk into a witchy shop, it's just like, do I need anything else? I could use some incense. You don't need it but you usually pick it up. So we'll start with that. So we got these two things of incense. So the first one we got is Tropical Rain, which is this one. And the other one is Patchouli Sunset. So I just was, we just decided we needed that. So not rune related, but we got more incense. So from the first shop, we got two sets, one for me and one for my man. And this is his. So it's Red Jasper. They came with their own little baggies, and they also came with little instructional pamphlets, which I thought was nice. And on the back, it also gives a little description of the stone, which I thought was really nice. So for Red Jasper, according to their paper, which I really did appreciate, they included how to cleanse it, how to recharge it, and then the properties of it. Again, I've talked about this before, but when you were using crystals, it is good to know which ones can be safe for sunlight, can be safe for water, and so on and so forth. Some can and some can't, and then you can end up destroying your crystals because you use the wrong way. Such as leaving like your amethyst out in the sun. It's gonna lose its color. I've done that and it was not good. So to cleanse it, use cold water, incense, sunlight, and earth. To recharge it, use a quartz cluster or sunlight. I actually happen to have something similar. It's not exactly what they're talking about, but if you're not sure, quartz crystal cluster, something like this, sort of. I don't, I think this is a smoky quartz, I think. It's my man's, but something like this where you could set your runes on top of, theoretically. I think that's what they're going for. So the powers are healing, protection, health, and beauty. It is also known as the Supreme Protector. So these are just very lightly carved into the stones and then it looks like they used kind of a silver paint for these. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting. It almost looks gold but Ring Light of Glory does that. So that was his set. And here's mine. So I got a clear quartz or crystal quartz set. So it's got like a white paint on almost clear white stones. And I liked my bag a lot. It's got like the swirly design. And then just like his, it's got the little info blob. So let's go through that. To cleanse mine, you use cold water and sunlight. To recharge it, a quartz cluster, sunlight, moonlight, cold water, incense, and mantras. Powers, protection, healing, psychism, and power. The stone of power, which I was like, okay, sure. Um, I would have labeled this more the all around stone. So I guess maybe that's where the power part is coming from. I'm planning on using this set as like kind of a moon set, um, specifically like a full moon, if I'm using it for anything like moon related. I'm planning on using these for that. Now I will mention those sets were a bit more pricey than I was anticipating. They didn't actually have price tags on them. And so when we got to the checkout, we were like, oh, well, I'm committed. So, okay. <laughs> they were about $45 a piece, which does feel a bit steep to me because we went to a different shop like immediately after just because we were driving in the area and it was like oh it's just around the block let's go check out here and their rune sets which granted the stones are a little bit smaller which is fine um they're about twenty dollars so there was quite a jump so since these were a decent chunk cheaper we ended up getting three sets one for me one for my man and one for my mom the three of us are going to start learning the runes so everyone got their own set even though I do still have mine right there. Also, that's my rune notebook. Yes, it does have a sticker that says it was 25 cents because it was on sale. When you are a maximalist, sales are your best friend. So from the lovely Cat and Cauldron, they came in these beautiful little rune bags. They've got the runes listed on them and they're blue. I liked that. The blue is one of the colors that represents Odin, so I just thought that was appropriate. So this is the set that we got for my mom. It's an amethyst set. So as you can see, Super gorgeous. They did a fabulous job on these. They used a gold paint to do these. And it also feels a lot deeper of a cut than the other set. 
um, for actually carving in like you can feel the edges on this where the other one you feel more of the paint ridges. Um, now that one's really better than the other and these are definitely a lot smaller of a stone but for me I almost prefer the little bit smaller but again I'm gonna use them both regardless. So I also wanted to mention what the stones are used for. So the amethyst relieves stress, soothes irritability, balances mood swings, dispels anger, rage, fear, anxiety, dissolves negativity. It also activates spiritual awareness, opens intuition, and enhances psychic abilities. So the next set is for my man, and this was blue onyx. Now I actually didn't know this was a stone, but it is so gorgeous. Like it's such a vibrant blue color, and again, still the gold paint. But again, just so pretty, such great craftsmanship. His bag did not come with the runes on it, but I think they might have just ran out of the bags. But it's still blue, and it's my man's favorite color, so it works. So blue onyx is good for happiness, contentment in life, intuition, resolving change in bad habits, good for people under physical, emotional, or mental stress. And then finally we come to my set. I am so happy. Oh, these were exactly what I was hoping for. When we decided this morning, we were like, we haven't gone witchy shopping in a long time, like actually just going out into the local shops to see if there's anything we want. This was the ones that I was kind of picturing in my mind with something along this line. And so mine are Moss Agate. So it's kind of a greenish color. They are just stunning. I love the vibes immediately off of them. They are so pretty, my man. I forgot my mask because I'm a genius, so <laughs> I couldn't go in. Um, but he sent me a picture of these when I was in the car and I was like, I need those. I need those in my life now. I told him to pick those up for me and then he said what other kinds there were. And I was like, yeah, I, st I still want these ones. They're so pretty. I wanted kind of a greenish color. That's what I was anticipating in my mind. But the other shop, I mean, the two that we grabbed were the only ones they had, really. They had a couple wooden sets, but they made those look small. <laughs> like, they were like this big of pieces of wood. And that's like, maybe for someone that would be a good size. To me, that feels way too big. Like, I want little. <laughs> and... These actually have a really decent weight to them. I just immediately connected to these way more than I have with my black set. I think they're just a regular onyx, um, maybe obsidian, some kind of a black stone. I bought them years ago. I don't even know if it had said what the stone was at that time, but I bought those in the hopes that I would eventually connect with them and use them, and I never did, and I really don't have much of a connection to them. I've carried them around for a couple months now, Still don't feel any connection. These, immediately, I'm just like, I'm excited. They've got a fun energy that like just mimics mine. I love these. I'm so excited to start working with them. So Moss Agate is good for gardening balance, a fresh start, abundance, bringing inner peace, calming mood swings, new beginnings, promotes spiritual growth, instills confidence, and promotes joy. So that is going to be it for our rune haul. We did get a lot of sets of runes today. It was not the plan, but here we are. We got a bunch, so... Again, I do end up using all of them um, as we go. Again, we've got our study sets, which are in the blue bags. I'm planning on mine being a moon set for the clear quartz. Eventually, I do want to get to a point where I am casting a rune circle when I do cast a regular circle. We're not there yet. We're still learning the runes, but eventually that's my plan. So I am planning on talking about the runes and my study with them. So I hope that you will come along for that journey. I'm just getting started on Fehu. Actually, I've probably showed you this altar a bunch of times now, but I actually have the like cards set out and different things ready to go, learning that rune, have my notebook, starting to take notes. So eventually we probably will start to talk about these. I don't know exactly what my upload schedule plan is. I'm thinking of doing like one week here, one week on Patreon, kind of switching it up. So anyways, we'll see. Until next time, thank you for coming along for this fun little witchy haul of basically runes and some incense. So if you would like to subscribe, please do. I have a variety of content on here. I just barely showed you this altar and we've talked about books and different things. If you want to have even more content and more of a coven-ish vibe telling you different rituals that you can do and energies to work with, definitely check out my Patreon. On the coven tier we do have that. 
I'm planning on actually uploading so you'll see the same background if you're one of my patrons. We're going to be talking about the full moon that is coming up here on Wednesday. So we've got a ritual planned for that, uh, working with your yard energies, and uh, pretty soon we'll be starting to plan towards the summer solstice. So we've got a bunch of fun stuff going on over there. And I'm probably going to have more content as well. Any books we talk about, there's always additional content on Patreon discussing, you know, specific parts of the books and whatnot. So anyways, and if you just want to support my existence, it is much appreciated. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you all soon.